hi guys welcome back and if you're new welcome and you already know the drill make sure you press that subscribe button and that bell button so you know when I drop my next videos so as you see we have the three other colors from the package that I got from nail reserve Los Angeles now if you haven't seen that video make sure you check that video out video out and it's the video of where I created this beautiful nail design and now we're gonna do this hand now we're gonna use Milky Way baby rose sea swing and Sun now I want to create some ombre nails on this side and maybe some aura nails I of course like always I never really have a plan I just kind of go with the flow and what's in my mind but I definitely wanted to create some videos for these polishes now you can get 50% off on your purchases with nail reserve minimum of two gel polishes with the discount code Azure Santos and I'll link everything in the description below all right let's get into some nails now now this is gonna be definitely um, beginner friendly nail art well I guess you can consider ombre nail art but let's get right into it so I want to do two different types of ombre styles um, possibly three so I'm gonna go in with this pink and we're gonna do that ombre effect on the thumb so I'm working on my non dominant hand so I might mess up a few times and start again because if you would if you do nails you know it is not easy working on your non dominant hand so what I want to do is just apply this rose pink to half of my nail and I'm going to grab my blending brush I hate when I close the brush on that um, now this one I kind of cut up a little bit just to make it easier and what I'm gonna do is just slowly blend that up again I am gonna have a little bit little bit of a difficult time doing this because I am working on my non dominant hand so if I get out of frame I'm sorry y'all so today I went to the um, nail supply store I went to go get some no lint wipes because the ones that I had from McCart they say no lint wipe but they get lint everywhere and I it was driving me crazy when I was doing nails so as you see, I'm just slowly bringing that up. This is really a struggle <laughs> on my left, my right. Why do I keep saying left on my right hand? I'm a righty, so this is just a lot more difficult than I expected it was going to be. <laughs> so we're just, you know, figuring it out okay and you keep doing that to you feel like it is nicely blended might not be perfect but just keep going because the more layers you apply the better it, it will look so i'm just gonna go ahead and cure that okay i went ahead and applied two coats of that baby rose now i'm gonna go in with sea swing and sun now, if you've seen my previous video, you've seen that I did swatches of that. And if you're interested in looking at the swatches, check that video, video out after this one. So what I'm going to do is apply a nice layer. Now I'm going to apply two to three coats of this. Okay. And we're going to grab that blending brush again and just blend that in as well. Okay, now we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds and apply two more coats. Okay, now we're gonna apply a third coat of the Sea Swing and Sun just to really hide that blending that we did. Be 
you guys have no idea how difficult this is doing my right hand but we shall prevail again I am gonna do a different method and showing you how to create an ombre now this it will be so much easier on your non dominant hand of course so I am just dipping it in some acetone so that way the color can get lighter as I go towards the bottom and then I just dry it off so that way I don't have too much product on the edge of my brush so I can really blend in those colors and you see how pretty that looks may not be perfect but it's looking good Make sure you like this video and subscribe. I can use all the support I can get because your girl is trying to get paid. All right, so I like how that is looking and I'm just gonna go ahead and cure okay, that. Okay, so that's how it is looking. And now what I'm gonna do is an aura on the index finger. So I'm just gonna apply this one, this color see swing and sun fully on this nail and again I'm gonna apply three coats of this color this is such a beautiful nude color it is a jelly color so it's not super pigmented but the more layers you apply the more pigment it will be look how pretty that is that is even with just one coat of this color it is so pretty okay so this is the polish with three coats look how beautiful that is i am definitely gonna create a press on nail set with just this polish on it i absolutely love this color so i have a little sponge in my hand and this is what i'm gonna use to create that aura so what i'm gonna do is put some of this baby rose on this sponge now this is a sponge that I broke off one of my, um, I don't even know, like sponge pens. Broke it off, just felt like it would be, be better. And again, when you do this method, you have to apply multiple layers. I don't have the airbrush kit, so this is how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna cure that and then apply multiple layers of that color okay so this is after a few layers of that what i'm going to do now is just grab a brush and put a dot right in the center now this is not the trendiest way of doing the aura nails you either can do it with an airbrush or a makeup palette or you can even do this with pigmented palette palettes just like the one I got from Madam Glam if you haven't checked that video out also check that video out where I use pigment palettes to create beautiful ombre pieces but as you see I'm kind of working as slow as I can because again this is my non-dominant hand and it is a struggle. I definitely would like to um, get an airbrush just so I can attempt the airbrush way as well. I like to uh, um, try different techniques just to see what I like best and to show you guys what way to do it best as well okay now it's not the best aura nail I've definitely done so much better but that's okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cure that and then we're gonna buff that out just to get away from all those bubbles that you see from the sponge Okay, so this is a little trick, especially when you're doing ombre with um, with the sponge. This helps get away those bubbles. 
that cre gets created from that sponge. So you just buff out the nail a little bit, not too much. Let's get a wipe. And wipe that. Okay, so you see how I kind of brush, um, did a little bit off the aura on this. So what I'm just gonna do is just grab a little bit on this brush and just kind of dab in that polish in the area that I buffed off too much. If it's too much, again, just take the brush and just blend in that color. And it's looking a little bit better. Definitely not my not my best nail, but you know, it's okay. It's all trial and error with me. So as you guys see, this again, this is not the best method of doing aura nails. There's definitely better ways to create aura nails. just gonna cure that okay so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this color on the sponge and I'm just gonna dab it dab it around that aura just to make it more blended I feel like this might help again sorry if I get out of frame Okay, that sponge is just soaking up all the polish. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with the color. And go around it. And then take a brush and kind of blend that in. Okay, that looks a little better. Let's just get this and just kind of dab it a little bit. I want it in the center. And we're just gonna cure that now. That looks better. Okay, and that's how it looks, cured. Not perfect, but we're gonna take it, you know? So I wanna show you a different method of ombre with the sponge. The only thing I hate about sponges is that it gets a lot of lint on it, so you gotta make sure there's really no lint on the sponge. And I'm just making a mess. But so that's what we're gonna do to create that ombre. So what I'm gonna do is apply a nice coat of this on the sponge and then a good amount of coat of this as well the only thing that sucks with sponges is that it soaks up so much of that polish you just want to slightly blend in those two colors as well that way when you kind of stamp it on your nail It comes on so as you see and then you do multiple layers again this is so hard on my non-dominant hand and I am making a mess I kind of like the method I did with my thumb because the sponge just soaks so much off so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cure this for about five seconds. So when you cure that sponge, it helps the product from not like soaking in all the way. This is a tip that I got from um, 
Nail Slave by Val, I believe that's her name, on YouTube. She creates a lot of beautiful press on nail artwork. I absolutely love her work. And this is something that she shared. And we're gonna try this method again. If I don't like the way this is applying, I'm gonna go ahead and do my method. The reason why this method wasn't working is because I didn't have a base color. Maybe because these colors are so light that it's just not really applying nicely on the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead again, waste of sponge, but apply this, do it this method. I just think it's just easier and faster and not as much product waste. Okay, so the sponge method just didn't work for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way again. Sometimes you just gotta start again and figure out what's best for you. This is so difficult doing with my, my non-dominant hand. I swear it is so hard. I feel like I am taking so much longer than I usually do when I do my right hand. So what I'm gonna do is grab a different brush to really blend that part, the top part in. And again, I'm gonna cure that and then apply another coat. Okay, and just like before, we're gonna apply three coats of this Sea Swing and Sun Polish. I don't know how those people um, do it with like when they draw and like write with both hands. I'm like, oh, you are gifted because this is not easy. Not easy at all. As you guys seen, if you're still watching, <laughs> this has been a struggle. So I'm going to cure that and then apply two more coats. Okay, now we have that other ombre completed. And it was just so much faster doing it this way. Um, it is a little bit hard again since I am doing it on my right hand. But we made, we made it work. We made it work. Now, I know I've been saying I was going to do Milky, uh, Milky Way, so I think I'm going to go in and do that, this color on this hand. So I'm just going to apply, I'm probably going to apply three coats of this. And I think I want to try and create that aura again, but with the beige if if, if possible okay so i'm just gonna cure that okay i went ahead and applied two coats of that color it is so pretty i love it it is a little chunky so i have to foul down the nail a little bit right here because it made it kind of more pointy but how cute okay so I'm going to attempt, you guys, attempt. I'm just going to attempt. Now, one thing I'm thinking about is maybe putting a top coat. I don't have blooming gel. I feel like if I had blooming gel, I could get that aura effect a lot easier. But maybe if I just <laughs> get this product... I kind of like that. Maybe if I work slowly around. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to try different ways of doing this because your girl is going to figure it out. It's like I could go ahead and watch a YouTube video of how to do this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna figure it out and so far that is looking cute. So I think I'm gonna put Milky Way in the middle of here. So it can kind of balance it out, but <laughs> it 
That looks so much better <laughs> than the index finger. <laughs> trial and error, you guys. Trial and error. So I'm going to cure that and apply another coat of that. Okay, guys. So it's looking cute so far. I went ahead and applied a little bit of that Milky Way to um, the index. And I feel like it really made it just pop and make it look so cute. I really love the aura of the sea, um, sea swing and sun on this finger. It is just looking so cute. So I'm so far happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and do another ombre on this finger. But I think I'm going to do these two colors just so it can kind of go together. But how cute is this? My nail sets always wind up coming together, even though sometimes it is a mess in the beginning. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're still here watching, I truly appreciate it. Make sure you like this video. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So I'm over here adding the Milky Way to all the tips. I feel like it just makes the pink pop more. So that's what I am doing currently. I just feel like it just really makes it look so pretty. So that's what I went ahead and did. I really love the Milky Way on that tip with that little bit of glitter. Let me know what you think. Did you like it the way it was before like this? Or do you feel like, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh, sorry, it wasn't in camera or well, in frame. So you see how it looks without it. And once I add it a little bit, it just pops out a little bit more, that pink. I just really like that a lot. And then again, we're just going to blend that. And this would be a little bit more of an easier blend because it is more of a jelly color. And that is just so pretty. Okay, just going to cure that. And then I'm going to apply a top coat. But how pretty is that? I am obsessed with them. I'm so happy with how they came out. Okay, you guys, I said I was going to apply a top coat, but I remembered I'd had these jewels and I've been wanting to use them for like a while now. And I just think they would be perfect. But like, it's like moons and stars. They're super cute. And I want to use them. So I'm just going to. Put a few out. I'm just grabbing my rhinestone picker upper thingy. I don't know what exactly it, it's called, but it just helps you pick up what you need to pick up. And then it just helps you separate. I know I definitely want to use these stars for the aura nail and the other stars, these stars as well. I'm just going to separate that. Definitely want to use some of this. I guess this is also a little picker-upper as well. Is it? Or a separator? I thought it was a separator. Okay, anyways, let's get right into <laughs> doing this. Because if not, the video is just going to be longer and longer. So I know, okay, let's just put a dot right here. That's where I want one of the stars. Oh gosh. Stars everywhere. Maybe I might need more rhinestone glue for that star. So I'm just going to apply more. Because I don't want my hair tagging at my nails or like the jewels. So I always like to put enough so that way fully 
gets every area that my hair may tag at. But how cute is that? Now I want to add one of those. I don't know what they're called, but one of those things here. Maybe one here. Like right around, kind of like circling the star. Okay. Ooh, don't want that to cure. Okay, so put that down right there. Put another one right here. And another one right here. Oh, don't go nowhere. How cute is that? Okay. I know I want to put this star right here, so I'm just going to go in a circle. Sorry if I'm out of frame. I know I want to put the star right there. Like, that is so cute. Okay, see, now the only thing is that these gems don't really sit flat on the nail. So we're going to have to fix that. Okay, I might have to take that off and bend it a little bit. Okay, let me just wipe that glue off real quick. And you're just going to have to bend that star. Well, I am. Not you. I am. Sometimes, like, that's just how jewels come, but you have to, like, fit them to your nail. Okay, that fits better. Oh, gosh. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab it and then apply that glue around. Don't want to get it everywhere. You know what? If that's how it's going to have to be, that is how it's going to be. Now it's like a glass in the middle. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a brush and kind of like brush that over. I really want that star to be secured. Is that centered? Maybe I could move it a little bit over. Again, I'm working with my non-dominant hand, so you guys bear with me. Okay, I'm just gonna cure these two now. I like the way that looks. And cure that, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the rhinestones on the hands, well, the nails. I'm getting sleepy here. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do the middle finger and I wanna do a different star, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and then apply the rhinestone glue underneath. I just find it more easier when you apply it this way. You make sure you get enough of that rhinestone glue where nothing is kind of like sticking out. And I wanna make sure I center that. <laughs> So hard but we got this we got this that looks pretty centered <laughs> and we're just gonna kind of does that look centered to you guys Okay, I'm just gonna cure that, okay? I like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the pinky. And then apply top coat. Okay, so now I'm applying this top coat. Kinda just applying it all over. And then I'm gonna try and let it settle. So that way it doesn't look super chunky.
I'm going to apply two at a time and then cure that. Okay, and there you have it. This is the set. And like always, my nails always seem to come out so good in the end, even though sometimes it looks like a mess. But I honestly am so happy the outcome of this set. So happy with the rhinestones. I've been wanting to use these stones for a while. Not stones, but these gems for a while. And what a success of using these three colors to create such a beautiful nail set. Let me know what you think, think in the comments below. And like always, we finish off with cuticle oil on the cuticle area. And this is just to help nourish the cuticle area. And like I always say, it really sets the set and just makes them look so good after you apply that cuticle oil on your skin. Now your skin don't look so dusty, but <laughs> I absolutely love how it came out. Look, it is two completely different <laughs> sets of nails, two different like vibes. This is like more funky and fun, and this is like more modest, but also trendy. Let me know in the comments below which set of nails you like most and if you haven't seen this video go check that out and again thank you so much for joining me today and make sure you subscribe also want to share with you all the rings that i chose for this set and i just think it complements this set so beautifully of course with the star and i really love this pearl ring it is so beautiful and this pink rhinestone ring is honestly my favorite and again i will share the link to these rings in the description below i had got a set of 64 rings for a really good price on amazon all right bye y'all thank you for watching